This display is to celebrate the 300 years since the original part of the building was built. It illustrates the varied history of the building as a home, a hotel, a venue for public events and now the city archives. Although the Molyneux name is largely associated with the football club, its origins in Wolverhampton are due to the Molyneux family. Benjamin Molyneux, an ironmonger and banker, was the first Molyneux to reside here, and the building was passed down several generations in the family. The family lived in the house for over a hundred years until it was sold on and used later for different purposes. These documents from the City of Wolverhampton Archive tell the story of the building from its beginning as a family home to its current use. This is the will of the first recorded owner of the house, John Rotten, where he states he would first pay off his debts. His debts of £700 to Benjamin Molyneux meant that when John Rotten passed away in 1744, Benjamin Molyneux acquired the house. The magazine article celebrates George Africanus, who was baptised by the Molyneux family in 1766. He later moved to Nottingham and became a successful and respected businessman and landlord there. The Molyneux family lived in the house for over a hundred years. In 1856, Charles Edward Molyneux sold the house and auctioned the contents. This is the catalogue. This is a poster for the pleasure grounds in front of the building for the public to enjoy. This could be hired for events such as Julian's musical Fate in July 1856. This is a souvenir bookmark for the exhibition which was held in the grounds of the house for five months. Manufacturers from Wolverhampton and the surrounding area could exhibit their goods. In 1870, the house began to be advertised as a venue for sporting activity. That summer, bicycle races were held in the grounds. The house passed through several owners in a short period of time. It was advertised in the newspaper as being for sale very often. The groundsman of the garden wrote to a local councillor to tell him that the owner had agreed to lease this space to the football club. The football club stadium is still to the rear of the building today. This is a visitor book for the hotel which visitors signed in, offering thanks for their stay. Some guests, often performers, also added photos or drawings of themselves. These floor plans show the layout of the hotel and what each room was used for in the past. Some parts of the current layout can be compared to this. The house was sold to a developer with a very uncertain future as the building was in a dilapidated state. The council decided to make the building the new home for the city archives and reconstruction and the restoration got underway to prepare the building for this. This included an extension to create the store to hold the Wolverhampton Archive and local study collection. This was the official invitation to the opening of the new city archives to the public. This article discusses and advertises the opening of the new archive to the public. The City of Wolverhampton Archive received its accreditation status from the National Archives in 2016. This was just a snippet into the 300 years of the Molyneux building. If you would like to find out more, please visit our website, social media channels and we hope to see you all soon.